What's up guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you have not seen my face before, make sure you go ahead and thumbs up this video and go ahead and subscribe because you will enjoy this video. Basically what I wanna do guys right now, this is uh, more of a vlog type video because I really wanna walk you guys through the process of how I create, you know what I mean? Sometimes being creators, especially when you, you know, make beats or if you're a rapper slash singer, sometimes you get what's called writer's block slash beat block or whatever. And so sometimes you just wanna be sure that you can, you know, keep coming up with fresh ideas. So I'm gonna just walk y'all through the process of how I do my, you know, a couple places that I stop at to actually you know what i mean get inspiration maybe to get motivated maybe to relate to people you know what i mean that type thing things that help me create and yeah, let's get into it man all right guys so as you can see the first place that i actually stopped at was guitar center but guitar center doesn't allow you to film in there so i couldn't show you the inside or whatever but usually what i do is i come to guitar center i walk around you know what i mean they have I'm trying to make sure you guys can see me walk around they have different instruments they have different things you know what i mean and basically really i go in there to get my creative ideas you know what i mean i go in there sometimes can you guys see me it's kind of dark right here but yeah, I go in there basically, you know what I mean, to get creative ideas, always just trying to level up, trying to figure out what it is I can do next, something different that I maybe don't do now, you know what I mean, something that I could really experiment with. So that's the reason I go up in there. Again, they wouldn't let me film it. I'm sorry, guys. But like I said, that's my favorite store. They got all kind of lights in there, all kind of everything. So um, next time, if I can sneak it or something, I'll do that for you. But right now, I can't. So all right, y'all, we're going to hit the next location. Robert Matt Black, and I got a billy with I got me. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. DMs in my bank account. Yeah. In my bank account. Oh God. Yeah. In my bank account. Ruler clip. Send a ruler hit, pull up on your She say that I got a ruler Spray your block down We not really with that rule rush Got cock now, I don't really get no By who I hit What's up guys, so I've arrived at the second location Like I said, the first location was a guitar center The second one is just being uptown You know what I mean? So since guitar center is like where I am to be creative Usually I come uptown because this is the area where You know what I mean, I see A lot of people who've made it, you know what I mean? Like a lot of people who are actually doing their dream job who are actually, you know what I mean, doing their dream jobs or doing what they want to be doing. I see some Lambos around here, some Ferraris, you know what I mean? So this is kind of like the spot that I would come to to be motivated. You know what I'm saying? So God dang, I'm tired. And let me address the fact that parking around here was $8. I don't know if that's, if that's too much, but where I'm from, we don't pay for parking. We steal it. And then guys, to go along with that, let me just go ahead and mention how important it is to be motivated and how important it is to really have the right mindset to be able to create because you want to be in a space where you know what i mean like you don't want to just be putting random stuff out which is why i don't even want to be like putting out random videos on youtube which is why sir i don't want to be putting random stuff out on youtube you know what i mean which is why on tuesdays and thursdays i'm supposed to post but if you guys don't see a post from me on tuesday or thursday it's normally because i either was about to put together something crappy or I just didn't want to put it out, you know what I mean? So it just gives me a chance to really be able to say like, yo, let me do what I can, let me do the best that I can instead of giving y'all some crap. And you gotta understand for me, man, this is this is uncomfortable. I usually film in the restraints of my own home. So to have people watching me out here with a vlog camera, it's like, what bro doing? By the way, guys, if you don't know where I am, I live in Charlotte, North Carolina. This is where I'm at. Oh, then they got some nice spots around here. I live in Charlotte, North Carolina, so this is my city right here, the CMO folk. I don't you feel me. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, this is what I do. Um, I guess to really just get like the creative juices, I guess if you want to call it, really to just, to just get those flowing and say like, what do I want people to feel? You know what I mean? How do I want this to impact people? Whatever I'm making, whether like I said, it'd be a beat, a spoken word. Whatever it is, you know what I mean? I like to kind of really get in tune with where I am. You know what I mean? This is the motivation spot. So this is where I come and I'm like, yo, like, I gotta get it. You know what I'm saying? I gotta make something of myself. I also think this would be the perfect time to go ahead and mention the fact that like, don't be afraid to get uncomfortable. You know what I mean? The fact that I'm walking 
around with a camera talking to myself. And people are looking like, what is bruh? Like, what is he doing? It's nerve wracking, but at the same time it's encouraging because it's like I'm doing something different, I'm stretching myself. You know what I mean? And I want my videos to be better, so. And the second thing that I will say is, when you do do this whole walk around uptown thing, don't use your phone. Put away all electronics, put away phones, tablets, computers, all that stuff. Cause you want to be able to focus. You want to be able to say like, let me get into my mind and see what I want to do. You know what I mean? So no electronics either, by the way. <sighs> all right guys, so usually, the third place is usually somewhere. I like to go somewhere where there's a lot of people because most of the time you want to step outside of your perspective, your feelings, your opinions and things like that. And you want to get around people who aren't like-minded people who maybe go through things that you don't know anything about. Maybe you can hear like conversations about, I don't know, about whatever. But I like to get around those people so I can really see what people are struggling with because you don't want your stuff to be unrelatable. You know what I mean? So that's the third place for me. Usually I go somewhere, like I said, like a mall or something, sit down. But for the most part, when it's a nice day like this, it ain't cold outside, I just go to a park. You know what I mean? I'm gonna mess around and get hit. All right guys, so like I said, I've arrived at the third location finally after walking for forever. The third place for me is somewhere, like I said, where I can connect with people. There's a lot of people usually where like I can step out of yeah, step outside of my perspective and really get to know, you know what I mean, other people's problems, see what they go through, and you know what I mean, be able to write something or make something that relates, you know what I mean? So, um, like I said, this is the last place. I'm tired and I'm hungry, so I'm about to be done with this. I think I'm feeling more like an R&B, hip hop type vibe, you know what I mean? So. I think that's probably what I'm gonna do. So like I said, this video is a little more on the serious side. Just kinda, you know what I mean, helping people out for the people who, you know, you get writer's block or whatever. I usually come here and do like some writing or photography or whatever. And it's, it's peaceful, you know what I'm saying? So you usually find a place kinda like this. I actually really enjoy making this video. Um, but I just realized I gotta walk all the way back. And that's a long walk. Should I Uber? Would that be lazy to just Uber? Yeah, that'd be kind of lazy. I don't, Six dollars already for parking, and then I gotta pay Uber to come get me through uptown traffic at five o'clock. <sighs> never mind, never mind, don't worry about it. But yeah, like I, was, but yeah, like I said, I already have the, the beat and stuff like that in my head, so I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of here, and we gonna head to the studio. By the way, walking through here, I realized a couple things. I don't think I'm cut out for uptown life. Everybody's so high booty and bougie, and, I say hello, they don't speak, and everybody got their drawers up and pants all the way up to their stomachs. It just seemed like too much for me, you know what I'm saying? I say hello, you don't speak. Like, lady, I'm speaking to you. Second thing I realized, that's a long walk, and I don't think I'm gonna be down for that no more. And third thing is, I ain't paying for parking no more. $8 is too much. I was here for about what, 30 minutes? Just wanted to say that. Now we're going back to the studio. <laughs> Music. <laughs> 
what's up guys i just want to say thank you guys for watching i hope you all took something from this video i hope you learned a lot man learned about like the creative process i know i didn't really walk you through the beat making process and my bad i seem so tired <clears throat> it's 6 or 7 a.m and i just finished that so <laughs> yeah I mean, I'm, I'm a little tired but uh yeah i appreciate you guys for watching man make sure you give this video a thumbs up make sure you subscribe if you are not subscribed make sure you come back and see me i post videos every tuesday and thursday if they're post worthy make sure you guys follow me on all of my social media which will be down below in the description thank you guys one more time for watching i appreciate it and um, i'll see you later man